Hey guys, and welcome back to the 401 on Tech. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade your SSD and your ASUS ROG Ally. Okay, so some things you're going to need to do this job. You're going to need a zero Phillips screwdriver, you're going to need a 2230 SSD, and you're going to need a spudger. So use like a guitar pick or a spudger from like an iFixit kit, you're going to need that. Also, you're going to need to power the unit down to 25% battery and you're going to want to make sure you remove any micro SD cards so when you take it apart, you're not going to snap those expensive micro SD cards in half. So the next important thing that you want to do before you get started, you want to make sure your system is up to date because if it's not, you could run into some issues. So the first thing you want to do is go to Armory Crate and then head over to the Content tab, click on Update Center, and go ahead and check for updates. And once this is done, anything that is here that isn't up to date, make sure you go ahead and update that first. Once that's done, go ahead and head over to the My Asus app. We have a little icon for it right down here on the taskbar. Now, sometimes you'll get a pop-up, like an update from My Asus. So if you have that, I would go ahead and do that as well. And then when you're done that, go ahead and go to Customer Support over to the left. Go to Live Updates. And once again, check for updates here. If there's anything that needs to be updated, update that as well. Most importantly is the BIOS. You wanna make sure that's on the most recent version. And the current BIOS version as the making of this video is 323. So once you have all that updated, now let's get this thing installed. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to take uh, apart the ASUS RG Ally. So I'm using my Phillips Zero screwdriver and I'm unscrewing the screws. I start at the bottom and I work my way to the top and I'm keeping the screws in order in my magnetic dish here. I'm saving the, the captive screw for last. That one actually doesn't come out as a captive screw. Now I'm using the pry tool to work my way in and across the top I got a better uh, vantage point and I was able to Start popping the clips and just working it, taking my time, and I get the back plate off. Much easier than the Steam Deck. Even though these screws also had Loctite. Now I use my flashlight for a second here, flip it around so I can get a better vantage point. And now I'm pulling the battery power cable out and it just slides right out. Uh, just tug on the wires. Um, it's pretty compact or pretty robust. So. Um, didn't have any issues there with put, just pulling on that wire and it came right out. Now you lift up this black uh, plastic here and I'm, you know use that Phillips Zero screwdriver and you just kind of lift up at an angle and you get the original SSD will come out. Now I'm opening up our Sabrent Rocket 2TB 2230 drive. Comes in a nice little metal case and just kind of go in at an angle. And slide that in and you reinstall the screw that hold it down now you want to reattach and we also have like microfiber towels here for the to keep the screen now I was struggling to reattach the, the battery uh, cable so Michelle's got smaller hands and with the light she was we were able to get that in now I'm gonna reattach the back plate so you just want to get it all nice and lined up and you snap it into place make sure all that everything is snapped and you start reinstalling the screws in the reverse of the way you took them out and there you have it all right now that you have the new SSD installed and everything buttoned back up we're going to use the ASUS cloud recovery tool to reinstall Windows now this will be a fresh install, but if you want to keep all your data, you could get an external SSD enclosure and clone your current drive to the new one. So first thing we need to do is plug the ROG Ally into the wall with a 65 watt charging cable or else it won't boot up. So once you have it plugged up, we want to boot directly into the BIO so we can access the cloud recovery tool. So to do this, press and hold the volume down button while then also pressing the power button. And once it comes up, you can let it go. Now, as you can see, we're now here in the BIOS and we're currently in easy mode, but we want to get to advanced mode. So to do this, you can hit the Y button and go to the advanced tab. The first thing you'll see at the top is ASUS Cloud Recovery. So go ahead and click on that. And then hit OK to start the process. 
And you'll also have to check the box here to agree to the privacy notice. Now this process is going to take some time. There will be a number of windows that pop up. At one point I'll ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi in order to download the Windows image. And there will be times where you'll have to click next or confirm to continue with cloud recovery. Also during this process, the system will reboot multiple times. But other than that, you just want to sit back, relax, and don't freak out. At one point it will say connecting and checking and that can take some time. We were wondering if it was stuck, but you just have to be patient. Finally, when it's all done, you'll be greeted with Windows Setup and you now have the wonderful privilege of setting up Windows 11 all over again and all your updates. But that's it. Okay, so that was a not too bad process. Taking it apart was much easier than it was the Steam Deck and installing the SSD. No strip screws. Yeah, no strip <laughs> screws, so it wasn't bad at all. Uh, you do want to allot yourself some time to do this, time to, to take it apart. Just take your time, guys. Yes. Uh, taking it apart, you know, putting your screws up where they need to be. And then when you install the SSD and then you turn it back on, you do the cloud recovery process, you're going to need to allot some time. It takes a while. I think it took us like two and a half uh, hours. Yeah, uh, go, Yeah, going into like, and I heard some people it takes like three hours. So it's not broken. It'll say checking for a long time, doing yes. a cloud recovery. It takes a long time. It'll restart a, a couple Just times. Just be patient. Just be patient. <laughs> um, you know, taking it apart was easy, and I guess you're paying a price for the cloud recovery part, but yeah, just give yourself time and patience. But that's going to do it for this video. Please do remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and we'll have two other videos that you might like, recommend at the end of this video. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.